Hi, this is David Millard. Welcome back to this Visio tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to look at using layers in Visio, but instead of using a layer in a floor plan like we did in the last tutorial, I'm going to use a layer in a flowchart. Why would you want to do this? Well, you might want to do it in order to separate parts of the drawing so that you can reveal them at different times. I'm going to demonstrate this by using a flowchart I've already created, just here, uh, and this is uh, all about sending a request in to become a, an exhibitor at a, a trade exhibition. So you can see we've got a basic flowchart here, starting with receiving the request, coming down to forwarding the application to the trade show coordinator. Now I'm going to add a few more shapes onto here, but I want these shapes to be on their own layer. Now to start with, let's just add a decision shape. I'm going to click on the decision shape, hover over the auto connect arrow and connect it automatically like that. And then after that, I'm going to put a couple of document shapes on. Okay, so uh, click on the document shape and the stencil hover over the auto connect arrow again. And then I'm going to ho hover over that auto connect arrow a second time, but this time from another node. Okay, so I want a document shape to come from here. So this is going to say approved and on this side it'll say yes it's going to be approved and on this side it's going to be no. Okay so I've just added text to these various shapes. I've also formatted the yes and the no with the text block tool just here on the drop down next to the text tool in order to move it away from the line and I've formatted it to yes being green and no being red. Now I want to conceal these shapes until I'm ready to show them, okay? So I want this to be on uh, another layer which I'm going to make invisible. So in order to do this, I'm going to select all these shapes uh, and their connector lines just by simply dragging a rectangle around them all, like that, so that they're all selected. And then I'm going to go to the Format menu and down to layer and in here you can see that uh, at the moment these are all on the flowchart layer. Uh, I'm going to click on new and create a new layer here which I'm going to call phase 2 and say OK and now you can see that uh, those shapes that I've got selected are on phase 2 layer. I'm going to take the tick out of the flowchart layer so that they no longer appear on that one and say OK. Now, if I go up to the View menu and then down to Layer Properties, you can see that there's my Phase 2 layer and there's my Flowchart layer. Now, in here there's a visible column. If I take the tick out of the visible uh, column next to Phase 2 and click Apply, hey presto, there's my shapes disappeared. If I say OK to that, I've got a process shape with the connector arrow to it that doesn't lead anywhere. If I now go back up to the view menu, down to layer properties and put the visible tick back in and apply it and click OK, there are my shapes once again visible. Now there are other things that you can do once you've got a, a layer that's separated from the others, including adding colour. So if I go back up to the view menu and down to layer properties again, this time uh, next to the phase 2 layer here, I'm going to click in the colour uh, column, put a tick in there next to phase 2, and underneath you can see that there's a drop down that opens a palette of colours. Uh, I'm going to select this green colour here and apply it. You can see that this layer is defined. It's uh, it's changed from the appearance of the others uh, because of its color. And of course you can change the color of a variety of different layers depending on how many you have. I'm going to say OK and I'm going to leave this tutorial there. I hope you can see other applications where you might find this useful in process diagrams, workflow diagrams, anywhere where you want to reveal a particular part of a diagram at a different time to the rest. OK, so don't forget if you want to see more tutorials, articles and videos for Visio, visit www.visio-tutorial.com. Thanks for watching.